We feel good about what we accomplished at the conference championships two weeks ago, and um, I think we're in a, in a really solid position going into the region meet for both men and women. On the men's side, we feel we're very excited because we, we actually have never had the same top five guys all season, and I think that probably will be um, uh, one of our strengths going into the region meet is that we have seven guys who are all capable of being in the top five, and I think we're gonna have to rely on, on on that strength. We went into the to the West Coast Conference Championships ranked 29th in the country, um, knowing that uh, BYU and Portland were, were going to be um, ahead of us in that field. And we, we feel good about what we accomplished on that day and what impressed us most about the way Mo raced um, at the conference championships was that he just got himself in the group of BYU and, and Portland runners and, and just kind of went along for the ride and then finished strong and he found himself in the midst of some really elite company and he managed himself well so we, we feel good about where he is. Hugh Nicholson has had a huge improvement from last year and he's really on a roll and um, Jacob and Jack are going strong and we have a number of others who who um, we feel like are all capable of being of getting in our top five. Uh, there were seven teams that advanced out of the region last year, and I think the region is a little bit deeper this year than it was last year. So the position that our men are in is in a much better spot than we were last year. We, we actually have beaten a few teams that might help us advance to the national championships. Um, and again, it, it's all it's going to be all about running um, at our best at regions because we do have to beat some some really solid teams to put ourselves in a, in a position where we can advance. Our women are um, are confident and they're really really fit so I think the combination of their confidence and their fitness and um, the experience that they've had um, running in the regional championships and the national championships puts us in a perfect position. We hadn't won a conference title in three years, so we were very focused on winning that championships. And I think especially given um, what occurred for us one year ago when we felt pretty confident we could win it and, and we didn't. So it, it, it was nice to, um, to win in the fashion that we did in, in such a dominating way. But um, again, we. All of those women have higher goals, but you know it's always nice to walk away with the, with the conference championships. We have one of the strongest one, two, three punches in the country with Charlotte, Veronica, and Isabel. And I think what makes this team um, even more exciting is the fact that we have a four, five, six, seven who are also capable of, of running at a high level and, and um, we feel like we have five All-Americans on the team and we're excited to, to just keep getting a little bit better each week. The region is really strong on, on, on the women's side as well. I mean, there's three teams that are ranked, or highly ranked in the country between Oregon, Stanford, and us. We've, we've raced, uh, we raced Stanford at Wisconsin, but um, they didn't have their full lineup together. We haven't raced Oregon this year at all. So um, yeah, we're looking forward to testing the waters a little bit at the region meet and, and seeing how we match up against those teams. You know, the regional meet really is, for us, just an opportunity to continue practicing what we need to practice at the national championships. And um, we feel if, if, we, if we do that, then we'll, we'll be in a great position when we get to Louisville on the, on the 18th.